if she gets her item. Not anybody else, her, because she actually paid. They refunded you, correct? It wasn't me. They was tried Nikita. to. It was Nikita. Did she get refunded? She, she did get refunded. Did you get refunded, Nikita? Yes. Okay, so then what's the issue? We, she wanted to purchase. She wanted to yeah. purchase. So they no, discriminated. I know they're not going to serve you. But it's a discrimination. Can't you tell them? It's, they, yeah. they cannot discriminate. The other we, offer. We, how many times have we come through? Did we tell the two guys in the olive garden? I know. And at, but the officer, the other restaurant, a police up. officer, advised that if we call when they discriminate, that they, the police have to come and enforce the law, and they're not allowed to break the law against discrimination. If they're not going to serve you, they're not going to serve you. Yeah, but aren't you, Are you upholding? Guys Are you guys going to leave? Yes. They serve well, her yeah. without a mask, well, the thing is, and they refunded her. So what, what does that, but like, you can't just actively serve somebody, and then the manager comes and says, oh, you can't serve this person. That doesn't, that's, that's totally inconsistent yeah. in enforcement. So it doesn't make any sense. And then you wouldn't not, be, and, I mean, you wouldn't be upholding the law and our constitutional rights if you just abide by their policy so, and laws and whatever. We're not trespassing. The, we the came and now, and now we're exercising our right. And we did. We did nothing wrong. We called you guys this time. We used the system. You told us this. I, we, I, we dealt with you guys before. All right. right. Yeah, that's why we're saying you told us. Okay, so this is the last, what? The last two places that you came, in Times Square, it's the same issue. So how about this, right? We're going to wait until the manager comes with you to give us notice in person, on camera, that we must leave. And we would just want that documented. And after that, we're going to get, we're going to leave. Because that's when you come in with SRG to arrest us, correct? Yes or no? Okay, so, yeah. all right, so we'll wait. So we'll, wait. Gonna, we'll wait. We want to we be formally told by the Hey, how you guys doing? I'm here with uh, one of the anti-mandate protesters here at uh, Starbucks. And uh, she has a sign over here, papers please. Uh, what's behind that sign and what made you come to Starbucks today and, uh, and protest? Uh, we came to Starbucks today to try to fight the current mandates. We got served at one Starbucks already. We're at our third location and they're giving us a hard time. I actually already ordered and they gave me a refund because I did not want to put a mask on. And I went ahead and called the cops because they discriminated against me and my friends. Okay, that's great. So I see the cops came right now. Uh, what would you guys expect expect the results to be today? Well, honestly, we just wanted to get served, but it doesn't look like we are. So right now we're waiting for the manager to formally ask us to leave before they do any arrest. So far, he hasn't asked us to leave yet. So we're just playing the waiting game. Okay, thank you so much. But you have to stand outside. We have a city mandate that we have to follow for indoor dining in New York City. Yes, and yes. Nobody was oh, so, okay, okay, so, so we can serve you. We, we can serve you, but you have to wait outside for your beverage. We'll produce your beverage and whatever food you would like, and we'll bring that to you. But we have to follow the city mandate. The vaccine mandate. So are you saying that we are second class citizens? Then? That's not what I'm saying. So we're happy to serve you if you'd like to place an order, and we'll bring the we'll, we'll bring the order out I, to you. I understand. Okay. We don't want to sit in. We just want to get our order and then leave. Hi, and everybody. you have to wear a mask. There's a mask mandate We're not right sitting now in. The city. I know. Have to sit in. Just okay. sit in. If I may say thank you, I would like to speak now. Hi, my name is David Ortiz, better known as Shaman. Okay. okay. Got it. We're patrons of this business. I walked in with the individual called yes. Nikita to be served. She okay. was served. If you're the proper manager, right? Correct. Are you happened. the manager? I'm Are you the manager? manager. Direct yep. operation. Bro, please, I got this. Are you the manager? Directed. Yes, I'm. I'm Are you the di yes. director I'm speaking with? Correct. Okay, great. Nikita, this fine young lady right here, was served, right? Given the item and then taken away from her and received funds back because she was not wearing a mask. After the manager, whoever you have here in charge, realized she wasn't wearing a mask, they decided to refund her money. This is a live act of discrimination in 2022. That money being rescinded to her is an act of war against the Constitution. Do you even realize that? I will have no, to no, no, I'm asking you a question now. Do you realize that? 
I will have to look into that situation. We would love to. Serve I have it you. on camera right now. We would for you. love to serve. I would. You. I have it on camera. Absolutely. We would love to serve you, but we have. Unfortunately, we have to follow the city's mandate for the mask and, and for indoor dining. So I would love to serve you. We can do that. We can take your order and serve you outside. Okay. And bring your beverage outside. Okay, but wait, wait. What's your What is your name? Wait, hold on. What's your name? What's your name? Michael. 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 So Michael, we are letting you know formally that this is an act of discrimination, and if you decide to try to kick us out with the with, uh, for your rule instead of law, we will act and sue Starbucks because we were just served at Astor Place in your Astor Place location. Now we're at your 47th Street location. So there is inconsistencies and holes in your story. I want to let you know. You can look into that. I will look into that. I'm just letting you know, no disrespect. We're just, we are feeling Absolutely. very passionately because we, yeah, yeah. we feel like we're being discriminated and by. That's actually not our intention. We actually want to serve you, but we have to follow the city's mandate. And is that law. who's... Yeah. No, you don't actually. You actually you don't have a actually. choice. That's so true. I would love to be able to serve you. We can do that outside and bring your beverages out to you if you would not like Could to actually... Could you call us second-class citizens then, sir? Okay, what I'm calling you. Huh? Okay, so, so what are we? We're, we're all human like beings. So we're allowed to tell the record. We're all human beings. Like we're We're not trying to yell at you. We're trying to understand. Guys, we're trying to understand. They lifted, they lifted the mask mandate. Now stand up for your rights or else you will be subjected to tyrannical rule, right? Absolutely. Uh, this one's yours. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And we come here not. We got coming from our friend who's wearing a mask and we're not. But we're still here. In the same facility, sharing the same substance that we came to patronize for. How un. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. You very how un how crazy uh, and, and oh, convoluted is that? An unvaxxed person and a vaxxed person having coffee together. How many cops does it take to get a uh, light and sweet? <laughs> how many cops? How many vax passes do you need? Excuse me, Michael. Michael, do we have to leave now? Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm here with one of the anti-mandate protesters, uh, Jesus. Uh, they just protested at, uh, at a Starbucks. So uh, just speak about like what transpired and how everything ended and uh, why did you guys, uh, you know, decided to basically leave and everything. Gotcha. So we walked up into Starbucks after walking to a couple of their, their franchises and we're just trying to get basic stuff like food, or, food and water. And we have a bunch of females being denied service. One female was actually serviced. Then they gave her a they gave her back her receipt and the money. So we basically got the cops called on us to be removed because we didn't have a mask on. But the cops couldn't remove us because a mask mandate is not a law. So then what happens is it got stretched into a long period of time where we played this little waiting game. And then eventually the cops was like, "You can, you guys gonna get served and then you leave." So right after they gave us our food and water as if we wanted. We left because we weren't trying to be crazy. We were just literally trying to get water and food. We were hungry. So were the women, so were the children that we were with. Long story short, we were serviced at this location right here, but it did take two hours and there was proof of segregation all over the place, all over now, the internet. Now, did, um, did the Starbucks officially close for the night? Uh, they, they told us that they officially closed, but I see people walking in and out. Well, now it looks like they're actually locking it up. So as you can see, the cops played a waiting game with us all the way until they got time to close. We got service, but then we had to leave because if not, we would have got uh, criminal trespassing charges because it would have been after the hours of Starbucks. So they tried to play it smart, but we weren't here for that. We were here to actually show you segregation. And we were segregated against for water and food, for no mask. Crazy. Okay, thank you so much.